Hello, it's Sarah. I am going to do a couple of canvases today. This is um, two 8x10 canvases. I just mod podged them last night. I collaged. There's mostly tissue paper on here. Tissues. Actual, actual napkins, I should say. Not tissues. Um, but then I did throw on a couple pieces of paper because some of the tissue was like ripping or pulling. Um, I don't know if Mod Podge is actually, I should have maybe used gel medium, but it, you know, it's all dry. I left it overnight. The next step will be to, um, gesso. So I'm going to just put a kind of a washy coat of gesso on. Um, but in the meantime, I did some birdies because I have an idea. I'm not sure what my words are going to be yet, but something about be yourself everyone else is taken something like that um, so these are my little special ones that are going to be themselves and then these are all the birds that are kind of just the same and it's a very simple um, little bird to make and that's kind of I was inspired by a piece that my um, my son's girlfriend got let's see I can't think of the name of the store but it was just it it was I think they've had stuff similar things at um, Hobby Lobby and stuff but um, it was kind of like it looked like a mixed media print you know so I saw that and I was like oh my gosh they look just like the birds I was making so I kind of came home and um, started playing with it so the, for the birds I just kind of start with the tail and go swoop down and kind of connect at the tail so it looks like a little I don't know teardrop and then I was playing around with different kinds of mouths and I think I stuck with this little mouth I kind of like it it's like a little she seems a little snobby I don't know <laughs> but it's just a little hook beak and I made their eyes closed it just makes it easier and their wings I just kind of do like this and that's it. I mean, so simple. So I made a bunch of them. And then even when I cut it, if I don't like the shape, I'll just come up straighter here when I cut it, when I cut it out. And then if there's not any lines, like see, I ended up fixing this one, the shape of it, because I didn't like the shape. So I just cut it where I liked it. And see, that one had a different beak because I was doing, I was doing the beaks like, like I was going like this and making a thing or like you can just do anything you want until you figure out what you want. And then for the fancy ones, I all I did was put a tail and an eye. So for the eye, I just made, like I'll try and do one this way this, way this time. Um, I go down and just connect. Like you don't even really want it to be like this. I would probably cut like that and join it like that. But for the eye, I do the same thing like it's a closed eye. And then you just go like that. And you can put a couple eyelashes and that's it and then you just do it like a tail like any kind of tail and then for the wing I changed the wing too just to make it a little to make it show up different but it's really simple um, this paper is a really nice quality paper I'm finding um, I actually I read this book and it's I should have it's Ken Follett World, with, World Without End it's a hardback but I figured I would never run out of paper if I use this. So I've been <laughs> ripping paper out of this. It's my book. I can do what I want. Very good book, by the way, those of you who haven't read it. Um, but I have been using that. I got a clip-on um, fan yesterday, and I'm trying to figure out where I want it because it is hot, hot. So I am going to go away. Oh, the other thing I'm going to be doing is a tree. I think I could probably just paint it on, but I think I want to paper piece it, so I might cut out a piece of paper, a tree. I'm not sure, and I'll do the. I might cut out the leaves too, because I just like the dimension of them. I could just paint them on here, so maybe I'll try it a few different ways. Um, and I was also thinking of um, hmm, coloring it the way I did my ATCs. Do I have any of them? I've been putting them in my um, pocket letters, but I think I have, yeah. So these little ATCs that I did with, these were done with, um, I'm pretty sure these are my ink essentials. I think so. 
The only thing is, I'm not sure on top of the, um, well, I'm going to gesso. I'm going to do a little bit more to the background, and then I'm going to decide how I'm going to color because I don't know that I want to just use straight paint. So I'll be back when I have, I'm going to just leave, I'm going to do one for now so I can do it. Well, maybe I'll do both. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so just when I put Jessa on, I figured I'd just show you, but this, look at the difference. It's so crazy because look at all that bright color. I love collaging. Like, look how pretty it is. I love it. And then you got to dull it down because, you know, and then we're going to do stamping on that. And I don't know what the point is because this is really pretty. <laughs> but basically, I just take my gesso and I like to use the uh, Liquitex Basic. And I mean, you can do it as dark or, well, it's actually, it kind of fades at, after, I'm going to cover up this because I don't want it to um, clash with the little critters I'm putting on here. Um, like if it was too dark, I could take my wet wipe and just run over it. And um, these brushes are just, they come in a pack and I'll show you in a second. But I love these for doing mixed media because I have good paint brushes and I'm not going to use my good paint brushes to do mixed media because I am rough and I will beat the heck out of my brushes. And this canvas is really rough too because um, the napkins that I used just got all wrinkly and stuff which gives it texture so that's kind of cool. So let's see, is that going to fade? I can just put a little water on my brush and kind of, I think it's fading because this was really bright. Oh, look, some tissues coming up, which is okay. But see, that's the Mod Podge. I don't know what happened with the Mod Podge, but maybe, um, what is it? I can't think, Mi gel medium, sorry. I have no brain. All right, so while this is drying, I'm going to gather up some um, colors. And I think I'm going to use, like, I think I'm going to use the Martha Stewart Pearl and uh, some Tim Holtz Blue. Like, I'm going to put some Tim Holtz Blue on here, a couple of different blues, maybe a little yellow. What does blue and yellow make? Green. Yeah, that's good. So blue, yellow, and then it'll make green because there's leaves. So blue, yellow, and green, but I'm going to hit it with the Martha Stewart Pearl just because I want to add some glimmer because I like glimmer and so what? And like, you know, I can do that. All right. So I'm going to dry this real good, get my paint, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Just so you know, you guys, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to mixed media, but... I do like the process that I've kind of gotten this, this, what I'm doing now is kind of my process. I go collage, gesso, um, now I'm going to add color. So I'm just coloring, this is um, some Tim Holtz daubers, and the thing about this is you can um, rub it around with a, a baby wipe in a minute. That's what I'm thinking, because like, this is my kind of my first canvas that I've done in a while. I did the um, my mixed media ATCs, and I really liked how they turned out following this process. So that's why I'm kind of um, going to do this, and then I'm going to just add a little, a few little highlights of yellow here. Oh, that boy, that's a lot. So I don't want to do a lot, but this should turn green if I mix it up. All right, and then I'm going to take a baby wipe, and I have no idea what this is going to do, but I think I'm kind of blending with it. That's what I'm, that's my idea anyway. Yeah, that seems to be working. I haven't really made very many, very much green. I really don't like that I have, I realized afterwards that I probably shouldn't put the book pages because, um, my birds are the book pages, but I think it'll be all right. I'm going to, I'll just try to cover them up. And then I'm going to do a little stamping 
and a little bit of um, embossing. I'm going to try and emboss. I have a few stencils, but I, I want to be able to see some of the background, so I'm going to pull it off in a few places. I'm going to try anyway. This paint is pretty, um, it doesn't really come off too easy, so I don't want it to come off that. Let's see, I did take it off that, but that's okay. But I like the color, but you know what? Now you can't see my background. Like my background totally is covered. Okay, so that's coming off. I want to see the music notes because I was thinking I was going to add some music notes to um, the, the one bird's mouth, like coming out of his mouth. I mean, I like it. I like the... Um, the grungy look of it, like it's grungy. See when I touch it, I pick up with my finger. So maybe um, applying it with a brush. I think the next one I'm gonna do right now too and we can see the difference. I think I'm gonna apply the paint, like I don't hate it. It's just a background and I think it's good. And then once I add, um, I wish this would come off a little more. Once I add, that looks good. It kind of looks grungy, doesn't it? But uh, what am I saying? Once I add um, a little bit of stenciling, a little bit of stamping, and then I'll gesso again. But let me do, so that's that one. Let me do this one. And this time I'm going to use a brush. So I will, and you know what I didn't use? Um, I didn't put, maybe I'll just do that at the end. I'll add... The, um, the Martha Stewart pearl, but let me see. Hold on. Where's my big? Here we go. Um, I like to add... Let's, let me just get the pearl. I also pulled some gold because I'm going to um, like add highlights of gold on the leaves. Like I think I might do the leaves. So let me see if this is satin. See, this isn't even pearl. Damn it. But I'm just going to go around the edges with this and see if it makes it. Yeah, I don't think satin's what I want. I think I want pearl. So I'm going to just take that off. Um, I'll be right back. I actually don't have a blue pearl. I have a lavender and the white. So I've just poured out some of the Tim Holtz. I'm going to go up a little. Uh, which one did I use? The darker one. So this is Salty Ocean. And I'm just going to mix it on my brush. And I'm using um, one of my paint brushes now. This is my favorite paint brush to do shading and stuff with. It's an angle brush. I'm pretty sure it's a three quarter inch angle. So I'm just going to kind of take some of the, load my brush with the pearl first. And I'm kind of side loading it. I'm kind of just mainly sticking it like that. And then I'm going to add a little blue. And hopefully that'll stay pearly. Yeah, it looks pearly. So maybe I'll just slip slap it here and there. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. You guys. Oops, I don't want to cover up my... Um, I want to try and keep the music notes. I like the music notes. Well, look, I even pulled off some gesso that time. So if you guys know what you're doing when it comes to mixed media, this might not be the video for you because... You're kind of, I'm taking you on a tour of exploring this and, um, you know, I don't know if adding a different uh, finish, like this is a, a pearly finish, is good to do or not. I have no idea. I mean, I could just totally cover the whole thing. All right, that's good enough, but it all that does is going to add like a shine here and there. Let's just go back to this piece and we'll just add our color. I'm going to get my rough brush again. I'm going to put out some, this time I will use the uh, satin. I'm going to use this satin blue and I'm going to kind of like water it down this time. And just kind of hit it here and there and hopefully it's going to uh, 
be more forgiving when I try to take it off, but I don't know, because you know I'm a heavy hand. So everything I do is darker than I want it, really. It always just ends up that way. But I gotta add a little bit of gold, and I'm just dumping it. I'm like, just because it's on my desk, I should go get a, a regular yellow because I don't want to, like, use the paint less. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, oh, I have a blob over here. So let's put a little yellow. And actually, I think that's enough because uh, I want to see what my um, my wet wipe's going to do this time if I'm actually going to get some of it off. So, I mean, that's just as rough as it gets. Can you even say? Yeah. All right, so I'm just taking a wet wipe now and kind of blending her. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. And then, and it actually takes off some of the, uh, the gesso. So if you rub too hard, you can take off. You know, look at that. Now I have, like, cracks in it. So let me get a few cracks over here, too, so that it, like, kind of... And then we'll compare and see which ones we like better. I kind of like these colors better for some reason. I think I'm going to add a little more yellow to the other one. But that's what I'm going to go with. I mean, I don't know. Let's just... I wasted all this pearl. That's okay. You know what? It's fine. Because I... Usually I have, I have a palette out on my desk right now. It's just a paper plate. But... Um, because that way you don't have to wipe up your paint and you just have it on a um, palette all the time. Um, so, all right, let me put this here and this here. I definitely like this one better. Oops, you can't even see. I gotta add more yellow to this one. I like this a lot better. A lot, 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 lot better. I'm going to dry this one. This one's good to go for our next step where I think I'm going to do, I want to do some gold embossing like in the corners, I think. I don't know why. I just do. And uh, I think a little bit of stamping and then I'm going to put my main guys on there. Uh, all right, I'm going to add some yellow to this and I'll be back when everything's dry and I'm ready to do my next step. Okay, so I've gathered up a few things. I have some stamps. These are my go-to stamps when I'm um, doing uh, mixed media because you can, it's hard to use a block. I pulled this block because I'm gonna put it under the canvas. That's the other thing. When you're using a canvas, it has give. And because I'm gonna be embossing, I'm just gonna, when I emboss, I'm gonna put this under here just so I have a firm surface to really get a nice print. I wanna do a couple of these bird, um, bird, music notes um, in gold. So I'm gonna put them in a minute. But, uh, what, was, what was I saying? When I do mixed media, I like to use these because you can push, you have, you can, you can kinda of do it randomly, so anyway. I just pulled some of my faves, really just, um, a lot of these I got on clearance, believe it or not, in the recollections. This is just a, it's kind of represents dots, but I did pull, and I say pull, sorry, um, a lot of different stencils, and I'm not sure if I'll use them all. Like, I have this Dina Wakely one, I think her name is, but it has leaves, so I kind of like the idea of that. Just in the background, lightly, not like... I don't have any sprays. I have a few sprays, but I don't want to spray. So, but then I have this one that's kind of like flowery and branchy too. Um, so I have several different things. I think this might be a Dina Wakely too, and it's kind of like flowers too. I love the dots though. I use these dots a lot. I think I'll keep that aside. Just some, um, oh, this one's a good one. It has littler dots and stars and hearts. So three different things. This one was, I think this one is, um, Christy Tomlinson. I think, no, you know what? It's not. It's not. No. I think it's just um, the one you can get at Michael's. I have a couple different checks, another dot. I have some butterflies, which I'm not thinking I'm going to use either because 
<clears throat> I want to do birds and I just don't want them to distract from it. And then the words. The words are always fun. And if I can just put some of these words, I might emboss these. Nah, it's too hard to emboss. This one's really best with a spray. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that one either. I'm going to stick with my, I have a word stamp somewhere. Hold on, did I not? Yes, here it is. So, <clears throat> let me think what I want to do. Oh, I also have some white, because I'm just going to stamp with, uh, where is it? My archival. I'm just going to stamp with my archival black. Um, and I'm going to put a few white, I think I'm just going to use, because I could sponge white, yeah, I think I might sponge white, I'm going to grab some white, but anyway, let me just get started with some stamping, and let me just start with my little circles. I decided to do, <clears throat> I'm going to do this one on the <clears throat> horizontal, or <clears throat> landscape I guess or whatever this one <clears throat> I'm gonna do vertical but it doesn't really matter I'm just adding a few little and then I think you're supposed to gesso over this again oh I have hearts see I should do them in uh, red or something nah just do them in black And I want to do just a couple harlequins. I think I'm going to, yeah, I'll do it. A couple harlequins. A couple harlequins. Oops. See, see how, like, it doesn't really take. There, that was a good one. All right. So I don't even, I don't know if I love this or not. I don't know. I'm just going to take the cap of, where did I put it? I had a, I took one of the Tim Holtz. Oh, I have a lot of paint on my desk, guys. I have to get that off. Um, I took just one of the caps off the Tim Holtz um, paints because it's a round little circle, and I'm just going to dip it in my gesso and go boop. I see people do this all the time, and I've never done it. So I'm doing it. And you could probably use different sizes. And people like to do things in threes. I don't know why. They say it's a uh, helps the eye, something or other. But I am just gonna do that. That's it. You could get crazy, right? You could just cause I never stop when I embellish. Alright, that's enough. That's enough of that. Um now, I want to do, I would like to do some embossing, but should I, I want to look at my little um, ATC card that's over here, that's my little, so I made these ATCs, and really, I didn't do much stamping. I only did embossing. Yeah, I did a little bit of stamping and then embossing. Um, and I might have to put some of these on there too. Maybe I'll do that. So it's looking kind of like, you know what I hate is that you, all of the, um, that uh, collaging is gone pretty much. Like that's what bothers me about um, doing a piece like this. I don't know if I should do this in gold. Nah. I want to figure out what I'm going to do in gold. All right, I got to change my battery and I'm going to come back and emboss. Okay, so this is dry enough. I've decided to wait on the embossing and uh, put my tree in. I'm going to put my tree in and kind of see where everything's going to go. So I grabbed a couple of colors. I have burnt sienna. Where's my burnt umber? I'll find it in a minute. Um, and I've just grabbed, these aren't my best brushes, but they're not, they're not totally the worst brushes, but, um, I just want to get a tree on here and I'm going to put that on the side. It's going to be all, the trunk is going to go down the side 
and then I'm going to have the branches kind of come out like this. Oops, stuck my finger in it, that's okay. And I have a little round brush there, but I just kind of want to get the, I think another branch is going to come this way. And this way I can kind of um, start to see what I want to do as far as uh, where my birds are going to go and if I want to emboss, like say there's, I think my birdie is going to be sitting here and like near the music, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but I have to do this. And then, because then, usually you uh, do a little more stamping on top of your design as well to get it to kind of become part of the design. You don't want it to be just sitting on top. You don't want your painting to be just like it looks like it doesn't belong. Um, I'm going to make the tree, the trunk a little wider here, I think. I like how it's like the paint is skipping. Um, it's not really, uh, doesn't that look cool how it's like skipping? Can you see what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to switch to, where did my burn umbers right here? So I have some burnt umber too because I'm going to just pull, I'll put that on to give it a little bit of shading. And you know what, I could probably do, because um, I'm going to Mod Podge this again after, and that's when I'll use my pit pens to do some shade. I don't, you know, I'm used to doing it with paint, so I don't need to use my pit pens. Excuse me, watermelon. I ate watermelon and it makes me burp. Um, <laughs> because I know how to shade with my brush, so I'm just going to let the brush kind of make little um, branches like that and I let my brush kind of twirl I guess I say kind of a lot sorry and just let this be thicker down here and I don't know where my little birds are gonna go so this doesn't matter really it's just to give me an idea of what things are starting to look like um, I think I want that thicker and that thicker and then that should be a little bit better all right so I think that's kind of how I'm gonna go with that now um, I probably should place my birds and I haven't decided how I'm painting my birds either and I want to put the one that's the star of the show down oops don't need the bling one of these guys Oh, I cut, I cut his hair off. How did I do that? I don't know. I can add hair. Don't worry. All right, maybe I just ripped off. I think it probably ripped off. Um, you're going to be here, like standing right there on the end, I think. Um, and then I might need just little ones up here and a bigger one, like the mom and dad. That's too big. Oh, see, I didn't think of that before I put my branch on because I want them to. I could come back after I have this, but this is basically what I want to do. Um, and do I want to emboss on top? I might put these on. Then I'm going to have to, I'm going to Mod Podge. I mean, like get them on with Mod Podge. So this part I'm a little um, a little lost, but basically if I were here on my ATC, um, I've already embossed underneath, but I might I want to emboss on top of the tree, I think. So I want to put some stamping and embossing on top of the tree. I want to put some leaves in too. Aha. Let me put some leaves in. I pulled some greens. You move these out of the way first and maybe I'll have to um, <clears throat> make another I can't believe I need all those birds and not one of them is gonna I'm gonna do darker first or maybe I'll mix I'm gonna use that uh, it's actually called a filbert brush it has a little bit it's a messed up filbert but I'm gonna try it doesn't have to be perfect I have water in my brush and then I just go and I'm going to put some leaves. 
it's a messed up brush so I'm not getting a good shape I pulled um, some of the uh, stamps by like these stamps by I think they're um, and these would look pretty for me to stamp I think I want to emboss these that's why I want to get this on here because I think I might emboss this going down the tree or something and I think I'm going to do it in gold so that's why I kind of wanted to establish a little bit of um, what's happening as far as the design and yeah, this brush stinks pretty much I can't get a nice tip to it I'm going to go back with a smaller brush and the lighter color I think and again all this could end up being covered up because I'm going to put my birdies on but that could be coming out from there I just like adding so, okay, is that enough of that color? Yeah. Let me get a different uh, size brush. I don't think I have a small filbert out here, do I? I don't know why I wouldn't, because I supposedly organized all these so that I could just have them at the ready, but doesn't seem that way. This is even bigger. So I'll just use, um, this is actually a number eight flat brush and now I can make leaves with that too. Um, so I'm just going to go into this. I think this light foliage would be pretty. I have an apple green too and that's really bright. But I'm going to make veins and stuff with, um, <clears throat> so you can't really even see this on some of the but that's okay because I think if I, uh, yeah, I can't really see it. I don't know if I want to do this one. It might be too bright. I can mix. I can always mix it into uh, some of the darker green. At this point, I'm just kind of just... Uh, making color all around adding it looks starting to look good I guess I mean I don't know you can still see a lot of the background but I guess that's um, gonna get covered by the birds and then I'm gonna oh uh, I don't know we'll see what happens you can definitely see this color better though these just look like blotches of color but for right now that's okay because um, I'm going to fix it with a pen, I guess. I'll go around everything with a pen. I don't know. I'm, like I said, you guys are coming along with me. So let me go into my um, dark brown and do a little shading on the tree. I think I want to shade underneath like the bottom of the branches. I don't know, now it's upside down and I can't get perspective. And then just kind of here and there, just brush it on there. See what that looks like. Look, it looks pretty good. I could just kind of dash it along the branches, but see the highlight would be on the top. So I should kind of stick to the bottom. Right? And just made that really thick. All right, so now, <clears throat> all right, I think my tree's done. I'm gonna let that dry, put my birds on, because I have to paint my birds still, and I want them to be washy. So I'm going to dry this and I'll be right back.